Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and a welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you. So, how are you doing? It's absolutely amazing to be right here right now. You know why? Because in one month, I will be celebrating five years of coming live on Facebook every single Tuesday at 12 o'clock. And this is like, you know, I, I call it tenacity. And when we talk about heel talk, when we talk about real talk, it's life stories. The people I interview, information, inspirations that I bring, and someone just texted me and said, I love your smile. You know, every single day, I do my utmost best to put a story that is inspiring. It touches me when I go on my path, then when I walk, or hopefully it touches yours. Because... I think about gratitude every single day. It's one of those things that I practice. And you know, one of the things that we take for granted, what it is, it's called breath, breathing. There will be a moment that we hold our breath intentionally, like when we are going under the water and swimming. There's times that we hold our breath because we're like, We see something shocking. And there are some times that we hold our breath because we are in fear or in awe with love. But how many of us truly realize that each and every breath that you breathe is a gift? Truly. That moment, if there is anything for you to be conscious about, is breath work you know there is um, there is even a coaching that I used to do that it was breath work and it was rebirthing and I did it many many years ago and uh, I may be bringing it back uh, for a workshop that we lay down and all we do is this constant breathing and breathing until you realize that your breath becomes this cycle of in and out in and out and you become more conscious of your breath and your body and yourself and that in itself takes you into a state of it becomes euphoric the euphoric of life you don't need any anything to enhance your being except it's all an amazing part of being alive and that is the magic for today what is it that keeps us living not existing so as i was thinking This is exactly the word I want you to uh, think about. How often do you call and catch yourself saying, as I was thinking, so is it your thoughts that is you? Is your body that is you? Is your emotions you? No. Who you are, the spirit of who you are is completely embodied inside your body, your breath, Your breath is what keeps you living. So, I was wondering what is it that we were going to be talking about today. And I realized, what is the one thing that makes an impact in your life? What is that one story that has made an impact in your life? When you're making love or when you made love, if that moment of that pure love lust joy did you bank that moment if you hold a child in your bosom if that moment that one precious moment if you can bank that moment and you say this is the moment 
and you become so engrossed, enhanced, in love with that moment that the smell, the touch, the sound, everything becomes so enhanced and yes, full of love and joy that embodies who you are and I call that moment we bank it because there's times when you are sad, when you are resentful, when you are angry, all you have to do is close your eyes and just the same way as when I work with my clients, I say, this is your magic password or this is your magic word. And each person has a magic word that I give to them. Just like when you go on stage and they say, when I say this word, you are going to do, let's, let's say you're going to dance. With my clients, as a hypnotherapist, this is what we do, working with the subconscious mind. So the subconscious mind also comes to encompass and register and hold in mind and takes it into archive all your sensories of a moment where you say, bank this moment, or you say, let's say, lotus. Every time I say Lotus, it will remind me of my logo or it will remind me of evoking my emotions and the Lotus that opens and blossoms. I am the Lotus. So every time I say the word Lotus, it will remind me I am now evoking, embracing, evolving. I am blossoming. I am expanding. I am of love and kindness. And that word, when you close your eyes and you say Lotus and you feel it and you embody it, now putting that emotion with the motion and banking it, no matter where you are, when you say that word, it just resonates and vibrates every essence of you, that energetic line that we call it my um, the chakras, your energy lines, your being, your essence of who you are. And it remembers that, believe it or not, it will shift your energy. It will shift your attitude. It will shift wherever you are from the negative to the positive, to the sadness, to more joyful because it embodies that joy. Even if you're not feeling joy, it will recall. Your body will recall it. Your consciousness recalls it. So this is one exercise you can do on your own. Find yourself or come up with a power word that you like. And wherever you are, when you recall, as a matter of fact, as you are sitting right here, hello, Nabila, how are you? Do you have a time and a place that was so wonderful, so loving, so joyful that you can bring it to life and remember it at this very moment? If yes, just go ahead and do hashtag yes, or just say yes, number one. And when you do, it's that remembering that moment it could be from a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, maybe from your childhood, a place in a time that it was absolutely wonderful. And bring that to surface. I bet you anything, if you have that moment, we all have a moment. It doesn't have to be a day. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It's just a moment, a glimpse of a time and a place in your life. And it could be holding someone's hand, a sound, a music, or a song that you danced to. I have many moments like that. And I know I bank it. Let me give you a story. Years and years ago, I loved the water and I love the sky. If you see any of my stories that I place on Facebook and I share my stories, it's with Mother Nature, it's the clouds, it's the water, it's, uh, it, it's nature. 
it's the things that are living that surround me. So I was in uh, Cabo San Lucas and I went to the ocean. Um, by all means, there was parasailing. And of course, I signed up to do a parasailing as as they, if you haven't done parasailing, oh my God, it's the most amazing thing that there is. You go all the way up and up and up. And yes, you are connected to the boat and there's people who make sure that you are connected. And what's the worst that is gonna happen? You're gonna drop into the middle of the ocean and the boat, motor bike, I mean the motor, um, the boat, they will come and pick you up and it's all safe. You know, that's how I take it. Uh, but I was all the way up and from above, I could see not only as I was being pulled up and up and up, I could see the beautiful ocean side. I could see the club map and where we were and I could see all the other hotels and then suddenly all the hotels became smaller. I could see the entire area and then I could see way above it was like I could see beyond where we were and it's just like where you are right here right now wherever you are sitting realize that you are either standing or sitting in a chair or a couch and you are safe you are in a room you are in this building and maybe in a car, but you are safe and protected. You are in this community. You are in this city that you are living in. You are part of that neighborhood. You are part of this county. You are part of the state. You are safe no matter where you are right here, right now. Your body is safe. Your mind, sound mind is safe. Your heart, your loving kindness, you are safe with you. I hope you are. That you are kind to yourself and you are safe in this country. You are safe on this continent. You are safe on Mother Earth. You are safe as part of this universe. And all the way back, just like the parasailing, coming back all the way down as they pull me down and bring me back to shore. And of course, we land on the sand. And as my legs touch the sand and I am grounded back on Mother Earth and it reminds me how much we are connected to our core. You know, just like a baby that is connected to his or her mother through the umbilical cord until we are born. When we do breath work, we go all the way to the first breath that you breathe. It's amazing how much of who we are we take for granted. And it doesn't matter if you're an elevator it doesn't matter if you're on the 10th floor or the first floor. If you take the elevator, the stairs, the train, the plane, or the car, or the bicycle, you are safe today. You are safe with you in your body. And when you come to believe, there's two things in our life. The biggest emotions that we feel are love and fear. And when you bank more of love, the moments that you're feeling anxious, the moments that you feel, you feel out of control, when you feel you're going into a panic, and at that very moment, you recall your word your moment of love, your moment of joy, your moment of knowing that you are safe. It becomes so easy for you to feel more grounded and solid and safe with who you are.
You know, there is always a space between who I am and my body, who I am with my thoughts, who I am with my feelings. That's why we say, I feel. You're not your feelings, but you feel. So there is the you, the essence of who you are and your feelings. So in the work that I do, I help my clients identify the things that we feel, we can separate the feeling from the experience, especially if it is trauma, if it is something that happened in the past, and realize that we can shift the feelings and begin the healing once we accept the here and now, being stronger, more solid, and knowing that you can handle it. Sounds simple. Sometimes it is. And the power of your subconscious is so much more powerful and soft and loving long time ago, I heard the saying that I have embodied it and I love it. It says, your conscious mind is the masculine energy, which is the doer, the giver, the, the action, you know, what we call it, the way we look, listen, and learn. It's all the doer. And the subconscious mind, which holds space, which stores all that information, which is the hub, is the feminine energy. And when they merge together lovingly, you realize the impact of who you become and what you want to create in your life can surpass any fear factor that there is. Because you do matter. So that's my story for today, realizing the power within you that can heal, that can excel is far greater all the fears that sometimes you feel. My name is Lisa Bubari. By trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, best-selling author, and speaker. So if there is anything you would like to shift in your life to go from what you feel pain to feeling better and gain a better perspective and heal with them, by all means, call me. If not you, share this message with someone else. I'm always available to be in touch with you. Healwithin.com or our new site, lisabubari.com. Thank you for being here. And thank you for all my viewers. Keep smiling. And until next week, God bless you. And may the universe of light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.